Summer on the farm, it's my favourite season of the year. It's always nice to see after them long winter months. No, it's a, it's a good feeling. The sun makes, uh, makes you feel a hell of a lot better. It's glorious, really. Um, the, the meadows are all in flower. The leaves are out in the trees, and the birds are singing, and all is well with the world. Quite an important time of year, really, for um, us at the whole farm and farmers in general. My name's Stephen Bostock, and I've been farming here at Hall Farm for as long as I can remember. When I grew up at Hall Farm, remembering back, although it does seem quite a while ago, I remember um, my parents in the summer seemed to have a bit, a bit more time to spend with each other. It was always a very happy time making houses out of the hay bales playing in the river, in, in among doing some work also, of course. Yes, happy times, happy memories. My name's Dave Fulton. I'm a hill farmer, 24 year old. I've been farming since I was a young lad. Summer seasons is very busy. You have to be prepared to put a lot of long hours in, especially if you're up against the weather which a lot of years we are. The main job of the summer is, is to produce uh, hay and silage for the winter time. It's a very satisfying process. You feel like you're uh, preserving the summer for the winter. Mowing, it's basically like mowing your garden lawn. But instead of having a little garden, we're talking nine, 10 acre fields to mow. Following on behind, there's me with my dasher, uh, which is basically turning your grass over. It helps it dry out with, with the sunlight, which makes it ready for, uh, for bailing. The summer's not all plain sailing. We're, we're fortunate this year that we've been blessed by a good spell of weather. But sometimes trying to make hay and make silage when, when the weather's unsettled can be a nightmare. A lot of farmers use contractors during the summer to big bale their crops. The, the machinery the contractors use is very expensive and um, a lot of farmers can't afford. The round bales, they're wrapped in plastic uh, and that keeps the weather out and allows the, the silage to ferment in, inside the plastic. We stack the bales in the barn, they stay in there until we need them for the winter. I like making them because in the heart of winter, Chuck them on the back of my bike, ride over the snow and get to the sheep. The summertime, um, we normally spend a lot of time shearing the sheep to stop them getting too hot. It's like wearing a fur coat. It's very satisfying to see your lambs doing well, and pushing on. You get to have a good look at them while you're on clipping the sheep. You can, you can once you've clipped the sheep, you have a good look around your lambs and send them on the way again and you know there's some lambs pushing on well, to be fair. Summertime on the farm, it's always nice to go out and check around your cattle, see them out in the field, especially after all we've had them long months of uh, winter and spring inside. You go out and see them on the grass and your cows pushing on and, and the calves, seeing them fill out and grow, you see them running about, you know that they they can't be doing so bad. We have around 70 cows and calves, a limousine cross Aberdeen Angus variety. The sheep are mostly Swaledale purebred, around about 550 ewes. It's, uh, it's great to see them progress, hopefully, into good, healthy animals. Summer gives me a time to reflect. Farming and conservation is very important. I think it goes hand in hand. It's important for your conservation in summer. 
when it comes to the meadows. A few of our fields are in a scheme where we can't cut them to a certain date, which gives some of the wildflowers in there a chance to see, reseed, and then we'll go in with the mowers once they've seeded. Over the years, we lost about 75% of wildflower meadows in, to, in the uplands here, especially here in the Dales. But I think it's important to be thinking about putting a few hedges in on your farms, especially we have one field we're wanting to put a hedge in where it's uh, not much shelter for the sheep in winter and there's not uh, much uh, shade for the sheep in summer. Help the sheep out and it also might uh, make a bit of living space for these wild birds and whatnot. You have to make time to, to, to do these projects. I think a future of farming certainly needs conservation projects to be successful. It's always nice at the end of the summer, we've got the hay and the silage, and it's a nice thought to try and think about what we've preserved and hopefully to be able to pass that on to the next generation.